Hi, I'm Mick from Contour Education. Today I'm going to show you Google's free online map making tool, Maps Engine Lite. We'll use a water quality activity for the Australian Curriculum Geography that you can find below this video. The data collection sheets are at the back. While collecting your data, always include latitude and longitude information in decimal degrees for each site. You could get this information with a GPS while in the field or using Google Earth later. Once you're back in the classroom, put your data in a spreadsheet. You can import an Excel spreadsheet, a CSV file, or a Google Drive spreadsheet, which I'll do. Just ensure your column headings include the data, and each row will indicate a new site. Go to Maps Engine Lite and sign in using your free Google account. Click New Map to begin. There's a search bar and you can navigate using your mouse or arrow keys and on-screen zoom. In the left-hand menu there are a range of unique base maps for different types of maps. Change the map title by clicking on it. An empty layer has been created for you. Click on the title to change it. Hit import and select your file or Google document to display that data in your map. Maps Engine Lite will confirm which columns in your table will be used to locate your map features and which columns will be used to title your place marks. You should then see your field sites on the map. To change the way your data is displayed, click on Style. From here you can choose how your data is displayed. Click on Individual Styles and select the column in your table that your map symbols will be based on, in this case, Score. If we select Ranges, we can choose how many categories we want, in this case, three. Then choose your colour scheme. You can also set each category's colours and icons individually. You can access the raw data and add labels from the left panel. You can also add links to websites, images or videos inside each placemark. Click Data and add a column to the right of the table. Find the small grey drop down on the last column and choose Insert Column After. Double click inside each cell to copy the hyperlink. These are now available inside each placemark. When your map is complete, you can share it with others using the green share button to the right. To embed your map in a web page or learning management system, click the folder in the left menu. You can also export your map to KML for use in Google Earth. I hope you found this video useful. Watch our YouTube channel for more videos showing educators how to get the most out of Google's wonderful mapping tools.